Hello, today I wanted to show you an example of fitness calling a Java fixture to perform some mathematical functions. Uh, this particular example subtract numbers. So, again, the script's written here in a, a fairly typical fitness fashion really, um, sort, of a, sort of implementation that you might be using in test driven design, uh, where you're passing um, some values into some code and uh, checking that the result returned is as expected. So in this example here, I'm passing two numbers in. The first number is 5, the second number is 4. I'm expecting some subtractions to take place, and I'm expecting 5 take away 4 to equal 1. Likewise, on the second line, I'm expecting 6 take away 2 to be 4, 100 to take, take away 23 to be 77. But here, I'm, uh, I've put this one in deliberately as a, a failing test, so 500 take away 1, I'm expecting that to equal 10, so obviously that's going to fail. Um, just quickly show you the... Uh, Java fixture code behind the scenes here. Um, very simple code. It's a typical fitness implementation. I'll show, show you how that works in fitness. Okay, test there. As we can see, yeah, 5 take away 4 equals 1. The other two there are correct as well. 500 take away 1, where I said I was expecting 10, which is return 499. Just shows you how fitness can be used here. I found this um, also found this useful um, when running Selenium scripts, um, for instance, in ordering systems. Um, what you can do is use Selenium to grab uh, grab values from the screen. So uh, you could uh, grab the number of products ordered before you ran a test, um, order some products, and then go to the reporting screen and uh, grab the number of products ordered afterwards. And you just want to make sure that that number's been incremented by one. So it's just uh, one possible use of of this type of script. Thank you.